Following the recent release of messaging functionality in CacheTab, we'd like to take the opportunity to provide a bit more technical detail around the underlying implementation and to make it easier for developers across the eCache ecosystem to expand upon it. When you send a message through CacheTab, a prefix is included to help CacheTab and other applications recognize the source and context of the message. This is in line with the Bitcoin script approach of pushing data onto the stack and is intended to ensure interoperability between future eCache applications. This forms part of the plan to make eCache as extensible as possible, so anyone can create their own use case for this type of messaging data. From a developer standpoint, the anatomy of a cache tab message consists of the following key elements. The op return opcode, which is a script opcode used to mark a transaction output as unspendable. This then allows the storing of arbitrary data on chain. The next two elements are used to deduce the application context of the message. The first OP push data code indicates the byte size of the subsequent application prefix. A byte size of 4 means applications should parse the next 8 characters to retrieve the intended value. Cache tab uses this prefix to determine the source and context of the on-chain message. If this prefix does not exist, as is currently the case with messages from the Electrum ABC wallet, Cache tab will display it as an external message. Then finally, the next two elements are used to deduce the content of the message itself. The second OP push data similarly indicates the byte size of the subsequent message content. Cache tab then parses however many bytes to extract the body of the message. Let's take a look at a live example from the blockchain. Consider the following OP return output X. The first byte is the OP return code denoted by 6A. This is followed by 04, which tells the application to parse the next 4 bytes or 8 characters. The next 8 characters in this example being 6574162 is the application context prefix for an encrypted cache tap message. The next byte of 4C indicates that the following byte provides the length of an upcoming message. The 8 one then indicates this message is 129 bytes or 258 characters, which is the exact length of the remaining characters in the script hex. This remaining string is extracted as the message and then subsequently parsed and decrypted within CacheTap. As we expand the eCache ecosystem, there will be additional prefixes added for more complex actions, such as bridging e-tokens to other chains, interacting with decentralized exchanges, or your next eCache app feature. Which is why CacheTab's parsing logic is a good place to start as a reference guide, as it is set up to parse unlimited script codes and messages beyond CacheTab's current requirements. If you are a developer using an OP return prefix for your eCache app, you can now claim your desired prefix by submitting a diff to the prefix standards section of the Bitcoin ABC repo, located within the web slash standards folder. Please ensure your diff includes a display name for your protocol, an author for the prefix, a URL pointing to the specification of the protocol, and an eCache address to avoid ambiguity. And finally, if you have any technical questions regarding CacheTab's implementation of OP return prefixes or need a hand to get started in contributing to CacheTab as a developer, please feel free to reach out to Joey at Bytes of Man or Ethan at Pungent Aura on both Twitter or Telegram.